Alright guys, welcome to another episode of The Clueless Drinker. I thought I'd try something that's hopefully going to be a little bit special. It's a collaboration between Kia Vida Creative Brown Eye and Browcom's Keller. Both breweries I have covered here on the channel before. I've had a good track record with these two breweries and yeah, this is a collaboration that they did for the Browcunst Live event, uh, which was in Hamburg. So uh, yeah, it's something of a limited special edition beer and I'm very excited to check it out. From what I'm gathering, because I've not done too much research on this one, because I want to be surprised by it, um, it seems like a Rauk beer mixed with a sour beer, that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, very excited to try this, and I really love the artwork on this one. I'm really not too sure what exactly is going on there, but it's a nice, simple, linear illustration. It's got a nice wrapping label on the neck of the bottle, and of course, a bright yellow bottle cap. So it's a very striking looking beer. So um, yeah, hopefully it's as good as it looks. So let's open this. Nice amount of smoke. And uh, using my dirty, gerby cocktail glass. Let's pour it out. Oh, I think I've given it a bit too much head there. Yeah, way too much head. I'll let that swirl around in the bowl. But yeah, uh, just over a two finger of slightly off-white compact head. Colour-wise, it's not completely opaque. It's almost like a nice shiny chestnut brown colour. Uh, it's what you'd expect from a Rauch beer. And on the sniff, yeah, you're definitely getting smokiness there straight away. But that's balanced really nicely with a refreshing fruity sourness as well. I'm getting hints of maybe some cherries in there. Very, very slightly tropical, almost uh, pale ale sort of sniffs there as well. Raisins, currants, that sort of thing, those dense, dried um, berries, that sort of thing. But then you've got a really nice caramelly smokiness. That is a really nice smelling beer. Uh, very, it's not subtle, but it's not all over the place. It's a really nice fine balance. Let's have a quick sip. Wow. Now that is something very unique. You're getting the the smokiness, but those dense sour fruits are there as well. Yeah, it's a nice dense, got a pretty sour finish. Doesn't leave your mouth too dry though, it's got a nice mouthfeel. Um, I wouldn't say it's a full bodied mouthfeel, but I wouldn't say it's a thin mouth. It's a really nice balance of the two. But yeah, after you've tasted it, once you've got rid of that smokiness, you get the sourness on your tongue. And that's actually really, really nice. It's a nice, um, I've never experienced anything like that. Uh, from the smoky beers that I've tried already and the sour sorts of beers. It's exactly what you'd think of a sour smoked beer. So uh, let's pour the rest in. Let's see if that, oh yeah. Massive head once again, Pete. Good job. It's not really affected the colour too much. Uh, it's gone slightly hazier, if you will. Let's see if... Um... Yep, yeah, more fruitiness now, now that it's all in there. Very subtle um, hints of yeast. A nice, dense fruitiness. But really balanced perfectly with a nice smokiness. That is a very intriguing beer indeed. Even though it's only a 5.2% one, uh, it's one of those beers that you're not just going to swig and glug down. Um, you're going to take your time with this one. And uh, yeah, it's not one that I'd drink all the time. Don't get me wrong. I think there's, there's a lot going on there. 
but at the same time it's not complex it's not confused or anything like that it's quite heavy now it's got very um, my mouth is very bitter right now but um yeah every now and then that could be really really special and uh, this is i'd say relatively around room temperature um, i had it in the fridge for like an hour while i went shopping because i didn't want to have it too chilled but it'd be interesting to actually taste this when it has been chilled properly and I'd see if there's any difference in the flavour. But um, yeah, that's really nice, nutty, roasty, sour. It's just a very interesting beer and my palate is going crazy right now. I really, really enjoy that one. Uh, it's definitely not for everyone, don't get me wrong. You might feel a bit stuffed after just one, you know, two of these in quick succession. Uh, but yeah. The colour pretty much matches what you're tasting. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10 because it's not a beer that you can drink all the time. Um, but yeah, they've done a great job with that one. Another fantastic job from two really good German breweries. So if you want to find out more about this beer, of course, there's going to be a lot of information down below. And I'm not too sure what the availability of this is outside of Germany. But I'll try and put some purchase links down below so you can try this out for yourself because, yeah, that is a very intriguing beer indeed. Really, really nice. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you've tried this beer, as always, let me know what you guys think. And if you want to find out more, <coughs> check out the information down below. And also, don't forget to check out the Clueless Drinker playlist for my other Clueless Drinker reviews. So thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to really enjoy taking my time with this one. Cheers.